In calculus, one of the first things that you learn to do with the derivative of the function is to find the tangent of an equation uh, where the equation is curved, okay? Because if, an, if the uh, actual graph that you're going to draw is curved, the uh, gradient is always changing, and so this is a perfect use of the derivative to find the gradient at a particular point and use that to find the equation of a tangent. So here's a pretty typical question. Find the equation of a tangent to that curve, y equals minus x squared plus x plus 2, uh, at a particular point when x equals 1. So how do we approach this? Well, you want to think about what do you need to find the equation of a tangent, okay? Uh, you want to find the gradient of that tangent and the point that it goes through, right? So in other words, you're going to be using the point gradient form for uh, the equation of a line, right? Now, we've already been given the x-coordinate here that would correspond to the x1. So what we need to find out here uh, is two other pieces, the gradient of the tangent and the y-coordinate, the y1 um, that the line passes through, okay? Now, since we already have the x-coordinate, we can work out the y-coordinate really quickly just by substituting straight back in with our x-value into the equation, okay? So let's do that first. You can say, when x equals 1, <coughs> y is equal to, and I'm just going to do a straight substitution here so that I have my y value that I'm going to sub in for later. Okay? So I've got minus 1 plus 1 plus 2. These two cancel out, so I just end up with 2. Okay? So here's my x1. Here's my y1. Now, how do I work out m? That's where the calculus comes in, so I'm going to need to differentiate this function. Okay? So... Given my equation for y, I'm just going to apply my straightforward differentiation rules. And you can see I'll get minus 2x plus 1. Now, that's the expression there for the derivative. Okay? You can't put that minus 2x plus 1 into here yet. I actually need a real value for that. Okay? So to do that, I'm going to say, again, when x equals 1, What's the derivative equal to? It'll be equal to minus 2 plus 1. So there is my gradient. Okay, so now I have the pieces I need to actually substitute into the equation. I've got my x1, I've got my y1 here, and now I've also got this dy on dx. At this particular point, that's the m that I'm after, okay? So I've used differentiation to find that part. I've now reduced it back down to a problem that uh, you learn how to do this in year 8, right? How to uh, work out the equation of uh, a line going through a particular point with a particular gradient, okay? So all I need to do is take that information and sub it in, okay? So the equation of the tangent... will be <clears throat> y minus 2, there's my y1 value, equals minus 1 times x minus 1. Okay? So you can see if I bring, uh, this is going to be minus x plus 1, and if I bring that 2 over, this is going to be minus x plus 3. Okay, now, I'm done. But one of the great things about uh, calculus is that when you have a result, you can test to see whether it's right or not. Okay. So, in order to uh, verify my result, I'm just going to quickly sketch this out and see if that is indeed the tangent. Okay. So, in order to graph this, I'm probably going to need to factorize this guy up here. And that's going to be, think about your products and your sum here. That'll be 2 minus x, x plus 1. So, from that, you can read off the intercepts. Right. So, I'm going to be going through negative 1, let's put that there, and positive 2. Uh, this is a parabola, right? And uh, my y-intercept for this parabola will be 2. So, 1, 2. And I'm expecting a vertex halfway between, so just to make it look uh, accurate, it'll be somewhere around here. Okay, now, what's this going to look like? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it with y. Right. 
All right, now, there's my parabola. Now, when I think about my equation here, my straight line, I'm going through uh, the y-axis at y equals 3, and I've got a gradient of minus 1. So when I think about how this is going to look, this is my point here that I'm interested in actually finding the tangent at x equals 1. Right, that's where I got from the question. So when I think about how this is going to look, there's my equation. And, I mean, this graph is not perfect, I don't have, you know, grid lines or anything, but you can see I'm in the right ballpark, okay, and you can test your equation back to make sure that this equation and our original equation, minus x squared plus x plus 2, you can verify that they only have uh, one point of intersection. You could solve simultaneously, or you could even use the discriminant, okay? So, just to review how to find the equation of a tangent, Take your original equation and whatever information you've been given and use that to fill out the pieces of, in this case, the point gradient formula, okay? So you've been given x1, use x1, sum it straight back in to get y1, and then to find the last remaining unknown, m, you're going to need to differentiate and then find the gradient at the specific spot that you're interested in, okay? Take all those pieces of information, sub them all in, and there's your equation of the tangent.